Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on health, whole food nutrition, how you can match your food to your hormones and cycle to get and keep a better result. I'm the host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, that you can subscribe to. Uh, YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, and then the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. Both of them are on Amazon now. And also, I host the 12 week challenge. Um, this is an amazing, amazing challenge where I guide you through how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. I'm going to put this in the, did I do that? No, I didn't. I'm going to put this in the comments right now, right there. There it is. Put this in the comments so you can get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge that we are starting in October. My wait list is filling up. I only take a certain number of women because I want to make sure I have the time and energy to dedicate to helping you one-on-one -on -one with the nutrition guidance that you absolutely need. Um, so with that being said, get on the wait list if you're not already on the wait list. You get a ton of more information than what I just put out here and a little sneak peek behind the scenes. I love to talk about topics like this because this is one area where a lot of women are just completely misled or we get programmed in a way that doesn't serve us at all for our actual health, our actual health journey, actually getting results, right? And when we talk about results for women, keep in mind that men and women gain and lose weight differently. If women have hormonal issues, your time frame is gonna be different. So your journey is not always gonna be the same or match with what you think it is, and that's okay. As long as you understand the why behind the what or what's going on underneath, you can understand where you're at on your journey. Now, when we talk about women eating food or the empty calories or some of these things that we fall into these traps. Um, it, it's super easy to get caught up or swept up in these healthy things that are actually doing more harm than good long term for us. And there's a ton of stuff that comes out every day, right? Like there's new products being created left and right, but that doesn't mean they're healthy. There's, you know, people who put these products out, they study women, they study human behavior and psychology and everything. They study marketing and we think that this color means it's healthier. Green means it's healthy. You know, if it says, you know, nature or something anywhere on the label, we're gonna think it's a natural product, like right from the plants, you know? And that doesn't actually mean anything, uh, which is super fascinating when you actually dive into how labels are created or what they're allowed to put on labels. Super interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there are cereals and foods and drinks and stuff that companies will make like Cheerios, or not Cheerios, um, what am I thinking of? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops is one. Fruit Loops in the US, the formula and everything that's listed on the box for Fruit Loops is completely different than what they sell in Australia. They don't have all the crap. They don't have all the, you know, fake sugars and all the other garbage in it. Yeah. So it's not that companies can't make it healthier for the US. They just don't because they don't have to. Anyway, I'm getting a little distracted by that. It gets me a little fired up. I'm going to start sweating. <laughs> like I get really fired up and then I get a little worked up about it. But the thing I want you to take away from this is that there's a lot of misconception and uh, I don't want to just call it flat out lying, but kind of, right? Kind of lying when it comes to our food and labels. And we just live in a world and a society where it's not realistic to expect ourselves to eat whole food 100% of the time. I mean, you can, you totally can. I've done it before where I've been like, I'm gonna just be all 100% whole food all the time. Okay, that means literally everything that you consume has to be whole food, like no processing at all. But that's, it's tough to keep up, right? I'm an author and a speaker and a mom of three. It is, right? You gotta have some stuff that's prepared, like using pasta or something for dinner. Yes, you gotta have something that you are drawing from that's gonna help you just stay on track with life, right? So we're drawing from foods and we're using foods and products and things in our everyday life that are a, more processed or something like that. And there's a gradient of, of processed foods that some are healthier, some are not. But keep in mind that you're, you're probably gonna step into that realm. And that's okay as long as you're choosing things that are really healthy and that are helping you get towards your goals versus hurting you. And that's the piece where women get completely misled. 
we get shown these products or advertise these products and think, oh, this is gonna be amazing, this is all natural, this has some vitamin in it, it must be good for me, yet really there's a bunch of artificial sugars and other crap in it that's disrupting your gut microbiome, that's causing you more lethargy, that's disrupting your blood sugar levels and your insulin resistance, and it's causing more problems than actually is helping with. So that's what I wanted to talk about today because one of the things that we are as a society is we are overfed yet undernourished. And that comes from getting those empty calories, right? We all remember the low fat, fat free fad. Everything was low fat. Everything was low fat. I remember in college, me and my roommates, we would go to the store and get um, dip, like for chips and stuff like that, uh, dip and like get carrots, baby carrots and maybe celery and stuff and sit there and mow on an entire thing of dip because it was fat free dip, right? Anybody else? Anybody else do that with like, oh my gosh, look at this spinach dip. It's really just like fat free sour cream, but it's an entire tub and it's fat free. I'm gonna eat the whole tub. I'm gonna eat the whole tub of fat free dip, right? Oh my goodness. I'm eating carrots with it. I'm totally eating carrots. This is healthy and good for me. This is amazing, right? I'm getting my vegetables, and, and but you're, you're eating fat for this whole tub of fat-free dip, so it's way beyond what you're getting. You're not getting any protein. You're um, not actually filling or fueling your system at all. So you get those empty calories, right? So those empty calories are not just like, oh, I'm getting calories. I'll just do more cardio and burn them off. No, that's not how your system is actually responding to it. When your body gets calories that don't actually fuel your system, it triggers certain reactions and chemicals. And I won't go into it because it can get kind of boring. I don't want to lose your attention with it. <laughs> but essentially it tells your brain that you're really not getting food. So it still sets off certain pathways. So you're not actually getting satisfied. So your system still tells you then to eat more. So it actually increases your hunger. It makes you hungrier. Not because your metabolism is working harder for you, but because your brain chemistry is just telling your body, hey, I'm still starving, feed me. Apparently this is how it goes. Feed me, feed me. Um, anybody see Little Shop of Horrors? Feed me, Shemar. No, okay. Um, <laughs> you, so you eat more, you end up eating more. You're gonna get more cravings. You're gonna end up binging more, whether you want to or not. It's not about willpower then at that point. You're messing with your body chemistry and how things work. And it's because your body doesn't recognize this as actual food and fuel. Isn't that nuts, right? But we do it all the time and we do it with things and, and it's not just low fat and fat free now, right? Fat used to be the thing. Now it's sugar, low sugar, reduced sugar, sugar free. And we're pumping our body full, bodies full of these chemicals. And if we're even going a natural route with the sugar-free things, you're still getting things in, right, that are a natural sugar, but it's still messing up with your body chemistry and shifting and changing how your body reacts, how your body reacts to the food that you're taking in. So your stomach is having something in it to break down and digest, but it's not actually getting fuel from it. It's not getting nutrient from it. So that's what it messes up. Now, from there, right? From there, we're leading into nutrient depletion. So in the 12 week challenge, and again, in the comments, there is that link to get on the wait list for my next 12 week challenge that we start in October. So you don't wanna miss out on this. Again, I only take a certain number of women in this challenge. So click on the link, get on that wait list. But this is one of the first things I have to address with, address with pretty much 100% of the women that I work with, nutrient depletion. And you're not depleted because you want to be depleted. You're not depleted because you're not tr you're not eating healthy, right? The women I work with, it's not like they're switching from, oh yeah, I go to McDonald's or Taco Bell every other day. Guess I should eat more salads. No, these are like, you're going to the gym. You're eating really healthy. You've done paleo or Whole30 or all these other things. And, and it's working sort of, but it's just not getting it. It's just not helping you get the result that you need. So it's not about that right? It's about getting your body the fuel it needs to get the right result. That's where that nutrient depletion really, really comes in. So most women are nutrient depleted and they don't even know it. You can get nutrient depleted from being on birth control too long, from having hormonal disruptions, having kids, uh, stress, 
right? Stresses of all kinds. I'm just throwing out a few of these things, but this is a super common issue for women. And with when you don't have all the nutrients that your body needs, it's really, really, really tough to have your system run like it should, right? It's really, really tough to have your system have the metabolism that it should, right? Um, Justin is commenting, the sugar industry for 50 years paid to appoint the blame at fat. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm, yes, yeah. So this is something where it used to be the fat, right? And it's now it's the sugar. So with nutrient depletion though, you've got a nutrient deficiency in your system. And again, a lot of women don't have enough protein. A lot of women aren't getting enough main fuel in their systems, right? And again, we're misled on things like, oh, well, you should have at least 46 grams of protein a day. That's a, min that's a minimum recommendation. That's a minimum recommendation. And that's if all systems are go. Everything is perfectly healthy in your body. If that's not the case for you, then you're probably gonna need a different nutrient level. That's just like how the body physiology works. It's how it works. Oh, I get so frustrated when there's things like, oh, this is a really healthy high protein snack. And I'm like, how is it high protein? It has eight grams of protein in it. This like packaged protein bar that says, oh, it's super healthy and it's got antioxidants in it because there's blueberries in it. And oh, it's this super healthy thing. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to say it's unhealthy, but if there's only eight grams of protein, how is it helping you get to your goal? It's not, right? It's not. And I suppose the caveat here also is that it's usually not one thing that makes or breaks your diet, but it's these little things that you're doing all the time that you're not even noticing, right? It's the little things of I'm constantly getting, you know, fast food on the go, packaged food, processed foods of some kind. And I think it's healthy, but it has these empty calories in it. It has these empty calories either from fat or from sugar. I'm going to write sugar down just so we all keep that top of mind. sugar-free. And again, the sugar-free does a whole other thing with messing up your microbiome, which is a whole nother video I should do. Um, okay. So other results though of the nutrient depletion, it's going to decrease your metabolism overall. Your body's just not getting the fuel it needs. Like I talked about with protein, boosting your protein levels to what your system needs is going to skyrocket your metabolism. It's amazing. And your energy and help you get better sleep and all these other systems feel better. Again, for a lot of women, when you're trying to lose weight or get a better metabolism or just feel better overall, better sleep, better stress management, all that stuff, you know, a lot of it comes with just getting the basics down and feeling better overall. And when all of your systems feel better, everything works better together. So nutrient depletion, it's going to decrease your metabolism big time. You can also have hormone disruption from this. Now here's the super fun part about this too, is that if you have some hormone disruption to start with, that's going to actually feed into your nutrient depletion. Oh, and then you have nutrient depletion because you're eating these, you know, empty calories of some kind. Oh, and then that's going to actually feed into more hormone disruption. <laughs> it's just a sun cycle that keeps going. It's like this avalanche, you know, that's just coming down. Um, I'm picturing like a cartoon maybe it's a roadrunner cartoon of like a big snowball that rolls down the mountain, right? And gets bigger and bigger and bigger. How do you stop it? How do you stop that big snowball as it's moving, right? It's really tough to stop it. But if you keep being nutrient depleted, you, your body can't turn it around. And then lastly, here is the stress response. Your stress resp response becomes a lot um, higher, more damaging for your system and body when your body's nutrient depleted. If you don't have the basic nutrients your system needs, it's really hard to have your body tackle environmental stressors, chemicals, toxins, people, right? The people. <laughs> um, and then just everyday things too, like living your life, you know, having a family, all that stuff, the regular stress that you have to deal with every day, it actually becomes a lot harder to handle. So a lot of women will notice that they just feel fatigued or run down and they don't have the same energy anymore. And then there's they, a lot of women describe it as like more moody or agitated or irritated easily. And this thing will happen. And I just, I just, Oh, I get irritated. It's like, you know what you're, you might not actually be moody or irritated by it, by it, by whatever that circumstance is. Right. 
Like if you're getting ready in the morning and your kid spills milk everywhere and you're like, oh, come on, where you're like, normally I wouldn't snap at that, but why it just sets me off, what the heck? It's an added stressor and your body's already depleted so it doesn't have the nutrients it needs to combat that and handle it in a way that you normally would. So getting the right nutrients in your system, really making sure that you are not getting empty calories, that you're not setting yourself up to fail can not only change your health results, your weight loss results, all that other stuff, but it can actually shift your life and have you handle things completely differently and have you feel like you again. So that's one of my favorite things about going through the 12 week challenge is I really get to see and notice this change in women where they're like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I feel like myself again. I'm getting my energy back. And then you're not held up by all these other things. So. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please, if you learned something or if you realized something, I would so love and appreciate you sharing this video, share this message with other women. A lot of women are frustrated by the fact that they feel kind of left out there in the cold and they're not getting results and they don't know what to do. So I would so love and appreciate you sharing this. Um, and that's what I got for you. I hope you have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.